NG Firewall IPS configuration. Intrusion Prevention System is an essential feature supported in the NG Firewall to check packet for operation track on the internet system. So the NG Firewall have the built-in rule following the different track level and action tackle. Basically, it have three different level when which are high, medium, and low. And the action taker will be either of deny or allow. Here is the simple topology for configuration. Basically, IPS will work in a two different mode, which is the endpoint security and server security. Endpoint security is just to protect the internet user to prevent outside to attack with the OS vulnerability. Server security is to protect the web server against the vulnerability may be existed in the service publisher by the web server. Here we go for the three simple steps to configure the IPS. Basically, the steps one just to simply add in the IPS rule with the zone and the involvement IP group. The second step is to validate the database is the latter version or not, and also the IPS license. The last step is about launch the simple attack to verify those the IPS configuration is work properly or not. Now we can start to configure the IPS rule coding the breaker. So the policy name user can put in any name they like just in case to ensure it is meaningful the source tool we can put any possible source able to attack the server in this case we will only focus on the server security so the source will be the WAN and internal zone basically all IP range will be the source to attack the server so I will recommend to select all range in here The destination tool will be the DMZ, where is the actually the server located. And the destination IP range over here, you can just put in the server farm. Furthermore, user can select any type of the vulnerability they want to take care of it. User can try to familiarize it with it by himself. Just go through all the description over here. At the last column, it will be the custom rule which allow the user to add in their self definer value. So we untick the endpoint security. After that, User only have to select the deny as the action taker and the trigger IP logout to prevent further attack. So the configuration is done. Now we can take a look into the vulnerability list in the NG firewall. So this is the basic outlook of it according with the different track level and the vulnerability type. So you can customize the action taker while detecting certain vulnerability. IPS will always follow the rules over here to take corresponding action either deny or allow. So the following step is to ensure the licensing information in the general tab. The vulnerability license is under the update license category and you have to verify it to ensure it is the valid only be able to use the IPS feature. This is the data center of the NG firewall. So we will going to test the, some vulnerability and also the result of it. So we can just simply copy the statement over here to the URL bar. and change it to the corresponding server IP address.
After that, click enter and submit the. So you can see that the web page is unavailable, so the IPS is successfully blocked for it. So we can take a look in the statistics we generate for the server security. You can find over here there is the three attack trying to attack the server vulnerability. So user could get further information from the IPS log also. In here, you can see the detailed information which PC is actually trying to exploit the server vulnerability and action being taken by the NG firewall. So we can text for next attack which is the Apache vulnerability and copy the statement into the ER bar again and change it to the web server IP again. After that, submit the result. You can see the result over here. The page is not found. This means that the IPS didn't block for the attack. Now we can reload the IPS log again and observe the action being taken by the NG firewall. So you can see over here there is actually a new vulnerability being detected by the NG firewall. But the trailer level over here is the median and the action will be the allowed. So that means that IPS is actually follow the built-in rule in the database. So the web page is available and didn't block for it. Now we can text for the last attack. So the result you actually send with the first one, which is not available. That means the IPS is blocked for the attack again. That's all for my tutorial. Thank you.